so much for this wonderful, glorious day of life that you've given us, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity of service here this morning, Lord. Uh, Lord, we, 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 we just praise you that we have a warm building to come into this morning, Father. I thank you for all these folks who are here this morning, Lord, and to come out and come out early, Lord, to this early service. And Father, we know we're just beginning, and 
we're just thankful for Beth being here today and, and for each one who is here. And Lord, we just pray, Father, that uh, that if it's your will, that this that this service would continue to grow each more and more each week. Help us to get the word out there, Father, because we know there's folks out there who need who need church and yes. who need who need to be around church folk. And, yes. and Lord, I just pray for them, and I just hope, Father, that that the word can get out through the social media and videos, Lord, and and, and, and folks will see it and be able to be inspired to come here and be with us on Sunday morning. Thank you for EC and Tony worked so hard, Lord, to get this together. And I just uh, thank you for them coming forward and joining the church and being a big part of this church, Father. So we just pray, Lord, that you'd be with us, be with us during this service. Help us to worship you and praise you with everything that we have, Lord. Lord, we just ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. I practiced the first time yesterday with <laughs> Jesus, so we hired him. <laughs> we, said, we said you are hired. <laughs> he said, well, I, he said That's not, you're all we got right now. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> And like you said, we will we'll get used to, I mean, I should have, in retrospect, went and sat down, let you do your <laughs> announcements. It's fine. It's fine. But uh, we'll, we'll get up. We'll, we'll figure this out. It ain't formal. It's just. It's formal. Right. Right. It's, right. it's, right. right. it's casual, casual, casual service. And, you know, I wear a tie. You know why I'm wearing a tie? Well, this, this is the way I like to dress. Right. So I feel really comfortable yeah. like this. So if you're comfortable in jeans, <coughs> our jeans, but this is the way I feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. right? And it's casual. We don't care. As long as you cover everything up, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Glenn, clean and covered. <laughs> and covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The nice guy, as long as everything's covered up. <laughs> 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 All right, this is about a guy changing. Uh, Breaking chains. We do. <laughs>
Yeah, it's beautiful. That's really actually the first time uh, other than yesterday I heard that song, but I, it's beautiful. I like it. And so, uh, so, so this morning, y'all tell me now. I've got about ten minutes here. So y'all know me. Uh, I, I, I tend to go on. So when uh, my twenty till gets here, let me know. Just interrupt and say, preacher, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, I wanted to uh, just just talk this morning about praising the Lord because that's why we're here, right? Amen. And uh, my, my message really is just one verse this morning. It comes from Psalm 147, verse 1. It says this. It says, Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God. And it is good, isn't it? Amen. For it is pleasant, and praise is beautiful. Do you know that the last five chapters of the, the book of Psalms, in, the, in all five of those chapters, the first the first verse is praise the Lord. And also the last verse, it says praise the Lord. This psalm that we just read this morning in verse 1 says that praise is good. And, and so today I want to look at why praise is so good. One of the reasons praise is so good or important is because God deserves it. Amen. <laughs> he Amen. deserves our praise, don't yes, he? Yes, he does. I mean, look at all he does for us every day. Man, we should just be praising him, not here, just on uh, this morning, but every day we need to praise him. But the thing that I really want to look at today is, is praise. When we praise God, praise changes things. It really does. Things change when we praise God, when we give praise to Him. First of all, praise makes life better. It does. It makes life better. It's not just good. It's pleasant and it's beautiful. Uh, that's why we're here today. We should do it every day. We should do it because it's the right thing to do, isn't it? We're, we're here to praise God. We should do it every day. And another reason why, because it takes the focus off of ourselves, doesn't it? Because we're, we're a, a people who just loves ourselves and want to please ourselves. And, and listen, when we, when we take, our, take, take the focus off of us and put it on God, we praise God doing that. And that's what we should be doing. And, and another thing is that God loves, you think God loves to hear it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I expect He does. He loves it when we praise Him, right? I'm pretty sure He does. The second thing is this, praise builds character. It really does. It builds character. He, you know, Satan loves to tear us down. He loves to keep us down. You know the kind of world we live in. It's a hard world, isn't it? It's a tough world that we live in. Satan uses fear and anger and hatred and anxiety and pressures and, and a lot of stuff to keep us down. But you know what? When we praise God, it changes things. It changes the way we feel. It, it helps us. When we give praise to the Lord, even in tough times, it builds character in our lives. We know, y'all know uh, Eunice Hall is a great example who's been going through cancer for the last couple of years. And man, when I go see her, she lifts me up. She really does. Because she says, man, I know I, it's pretty bad. I know I, I got bad cancer. I know it's in a bad state. She said, but you know what? I still praise the Lord. I've had a good life. And, and whatever happens, whatever happens, if he pulls me through, that's awesome. If he don't, it's okay. I'm going to be with him. Man, that's just Amen. praising the Lord, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that's, that's the attitude we need to have, even in tough situations like hers. And the third thing that praise does, which is I really like, is that praise unites God's people. That's why we're here today, right? Yeah. It brought us together here this morning at 9 o'clock, something we didn't have never done before, have we? And so we, we come here. Why are you here this morning? Are you just here curious to see what's going to happen? Or are you here this morning to praise the, Lord? praise the Lord? That's why we should be here. We should be here praising Jesus today for everything that he does for us. Hebrews 10, 25 tells us, says we, we need to fellowship together. We need that. God give that to us. We praise brings us together. 
We're not only going to do it now at 9 o'clock, but hopefully when we get into Sunday school, we'll be praising Him. When we get into the 11 a.m. service, we'll be praising Him then. And praising Him then. And listen, when we walk out the doors after the morning worship service, what should we be doing? Praising, praising the Lord. Praising the Lord. That's what we should be doing. Today, every day. We should never stop. The fourth thing that, that praise does is praise can heal us physically. And spiritually. You know, the world is just full of those who are wounded and broken. There are hurting people out there. That's one reason why we want to have this service this morning. There's people who are broken, aren't there? There's people who are hurting and, and they're looking for help and they're needing help. And, and, and Jesus is the answer. He's the answer. And so we need to... That's why we're doing this service, hopefully to bring some folks in, to introduce them to Jesus, to the one who can help them, the one who can heal them. That's what church does. We're here to minister to those types of folks. Even we need help sometimes. Praise is a big part of the medicine that all of us need at times. It really is. I don't know if you're familiar. I'm sure you are. You're familiar with uh, the story of Paul and Silas. Aren't you? When they when they was in prison, they'd been they'd been beaten, they had been arrested, they they was bloodied, and they was put into a, the, the in, most inner part of the, of the prison, and it was cold and damp, and they was hurting. And at mid at midnight, what did the Bible say they was doing? Singing Sing praises. They Sing. were singing hymns and praying and praising the Lord. That's exactly what they was doing. They wasn't crying and complaining, oh, which is probably what I'd be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, why'd you put me here? But Paul and Silas didn't do it. They started praising the Lord. You know why? Because they knew that praise changes things. And you know what happened, don't you? God sent an earthquake, didn't it? He? he sent an earthquake and rattled that, that prison. And opened up those cells and broke those chains just like just like just like he said. See how God tied that together this morning, talking, singing about redeemed and breaking those chains. And that's exactly what God does. When we praise Him, He can break chains even at times when we're praising Him. We should be praising Him all the time. Praise can release the power we need when we are hurting. When we are hurting and discouraged. It can break the change of hurt and pain. The last one is this. Praise can lift us up. We sure need some lifting up at times, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> we, sure do. we need some lifting up. It's really easy to find ourselves crying and complaining and criticizing about our circumstances. We sometimes feel sorry for ourselves, and it, it can really affect us our spirituality and our witness. Nobody really wants to see a downtrodden Christian all the time. Somebody with their crying, going and walking around crying about everything all the time. And I know there's Christians who are like that. And, and when we do that, it affects our witness, doesn't it? Yes. I don't even like being around people like that. Because so sometimes they'll bring me down. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what happens. So we need, we need to turn that frown upside down all the way. And we need to let people know, hey, we, we're praising God every day, even when we're having a bad day. Even when we're having a tough day. And I have tough days sometimes, too. I have a tough day, and I was telling uh, Lynn this morning that I've been working on some deer meat the last couple days. And, and Friday, it takes two days for me to do it. I'll, I'll cut it up on Friday, and then Saturday morning, I'll, I'll process it. And... So I got up yesterday morning, I worked hard all day Saturday, it took me eight hours to cut it, cut it up, and then yesterday morning I got everything ready, man, it was ready, and, and I use a uh, vacuum sealer to, to, you know, to package the meat in. And so I got up and I put my first batch on, got it going, and Sherry was there helping me, and she was getting ready to put it in the, the uh, vacuum sealer, and guess what? Well, so I only use the thing once a year. So I just assumed it was going to work, and I just, I just, I didn't lose it, but I come close. I said, man, please don't tell me. i got to stop. 
Right when I get started, I gotta go to Walmart. Which is just a pain. I that's hate a, that's a term thing in itself. Amen. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And so, yeah, I was in a bad mood, man. And I mean, I'd start off bad, and you know, I got to driving towards Walmart, and this message that I was working on yeah. hit me. I said, you know what? Practice what you preach. Well, no, it, it wasn't that. It was, it was, you know, things could be so much worse. There are people laying in bed like Eunice, not knowing if they're going to make it. There's a lot of people we're praying for who has cancer, going through cancer treatments. Those who are sick, those who are probably on their deathbed. And here I am fussing about an old vacuum sailor. <laughs> and, I, and so I just started praising the Lord. I said, Lord, thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you that I can get in my truck and I can go to Walmart. And thank, thankful I found a parking place at Walmart and I walked right in. And believe it or not, I found what I wanted and needed and I bought it and I went right to the checkout place. And guess what? I was the first one in line. <laughs> I bought it, went on outside the door. I'd never done that before. I said, well, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I mean, I, I had a lot to praise the Lord for. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, and, and, and we, well, sometimes I think we're just so quick to just, just to get to the fuss, right? We are. We really were. We're, we're just so, so quick to fuss. And we don't need to do that. You know, we need to... Praise the Lord. You know what happened yesterday morning? When I started praising the Lord, you know what happened? My attitude changed. Yep. Yep. Everything about me changed. And I said, well, it's going to be a good day. No matter what happens, it's a good day. And my brother came down and my son came down. and We just had a great day. And I said, thank you, Lord. What a wonderful day. Praise changes things, folks. It's good to praise the Lord. We need to do it every day. This week, this week, when we if we find ourselves in trouble, here's what we need to do. We need to praise the Lord. We need to praise Him because He already knows about it. That we need to praise Him because He He can help us. <laughs> he, he, he He's our help in the time of trouble. The Bible says we can we can praise the Lord because it is a good thing to do. And we can praise the Lord always, not just so we can get something out of it, too. And I want to make that clear this morning. We don't want to just praise Him so we can get something out of it. We want to praise Him because He deserves it. Amen. He deserves our praise. He's earned our praise. Hasn't he? So we should praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, thank You for Your Word this morning. Thank You for Showing us in your words, if we just learn to praise you, that we can change things. <laughs> we can change things that are around us. We can make things for the better. The Father, help us to have a, a heart of praise for you each and every day of our lives. Father, I just pray that for the folks who are in trouble, that they'll, they'll think about this. They'll think about this message and these words, and they'll think about your word. And say, listen, if I just start praising the Lord, I know something good is going to happen. Something good is going to happen. We thank you for that, Father. We thank you for that promise. We love you, Lord. And we just ask that you be with us through the rest of this service. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's come up. Let's, you know, we do another? All right. Y'all sing with us. I know y'all heard it before. All right. One, two. Amen. Oh,